Alright, so boys, welcome back to another video. Straight away, boys, we're going to get into some mass bidding filters, sniping filters, and some investments. I did suggest 84s last night, and they're already up in price. So if you did buy, the profit is very, very nice. Drop a like, do subscribe if you are new. You do help my channel grow. And let's get into some investments. Alright, so boys, again, this past week has been very, very good to make coins. Thunderstruck icons going out of packs. If you did not make coins this past week, again, I'm going to show you exactly what I have been doing. Again, brilliant week, apart from me getting banned and losing 9 million coins. Again, that is not a part of this video. So, Campbell, 310 to 420,000 coins. You can see, I do have one card in the background. Unfortunately, I cannot sell it as I did get banned. Quadrado, 110 to 150, very nice and low risk flip. Where Van der Sar, I suggested this card on my YouTube and on Discord, very nice and simple, 570k to 680,000 coins. We have Nesta, 185 to 250, Kulibali, low risk again, 35 to 55,000 coins. Deli Ali, 66 to 85,000 coins. Hemp, Thunderstruck, 200,000 coins to 315,000 coins. Little, she was my personal favorite investment. I already had invested around 3 million coins into her and I did say to my Discord boys, spend all your coins on Little if you want to put all your coins into a specific investment under 33,000 coins. You can see in the background, she is already 43,000 coins. Again, you will be making 10,000 coins a card if you did buy her for 30. 3,000 coins. Lukaku, once again, one of my favorite investments, 23k to 32,000 coins. Katotos, I did have around 50 to 60 Katotos on my transfer list. You can see 69k to 79,000 coins. And of course, Bernardo Silva, 69 to 82. And of course, I did suggest to sell this card before the game to be safe. Guys, this is my premium trading Discord. All you have to do, join the channel, look at the flips, investments, for that low budget, high budget, buy the cards we suggest for the price we say, and we tell you exactly when to sell. Of course, guys, instead of buying a pack in the store, give my Discord a go. £10 a month, if you're not happy with the service, you can cancel your subscription at any single time. And of course, guys, if you don't make at least 1 million coins, drop me a DM on Twitter or drop me a DM in the Discord, and I will help you individually to achieve that goal. The link will be down in the comments. Let's get back to the video. All right, so boys, I want to cover 84 rated cards. Yesterday, I said, boys, 84s, 2,000 coins, no-brainer investment. It can be long-term, a week, a day, two days. It all depends on EA Sports. And if we look on the market, let's take, for example, James Madison. You can see he is already 2.5K. Very nice. 500 coins already up in price. You're going to be asking why you have 84s gone up in price. Have a look in the background. New SPC today, 85 double. And of course, if we go to the requirements, you're going to see an 82 rated team with two 84s minimum and an 83 rated team. So, of course, in general, 84s will do very, very nicely. Again, you're making around 300 to 400 coins profit after tax on every single card. So, again, I'll probably laser sell 2.7, 2.8, 2.9. And, of course, in general today, making coins with 84s is going to be very, very simple. You can probably use a filter similar to this. Quality, gold, rare, minimum price 1.1. Reason being that basically the cheapest 84s can go is 1.1k. That is the minimum price, max price 2.1 and minimum buy now 2.3. Click search and you're going to see 85s and 84s on open bid. You can see James Madison, Stones, 84s, again Koulibaly. We have a, um, let's find a few more. We have Koulibaly, another one, Thiago from Liverpool. You can see Skriniar from PSG, another 85 from Barcelona. Basically, boys, with this filter, 84s, you can see Lorente from Atletico Madrid, Thiago Silva, etc. Again, if 84s are selling for 2.6, 2.7, winning them on bid, 2,000 coins, 2.1, 2.2, even 2.3. And of course, lazy selling 2.7, 2.8 is very, very effective, low budget method. Again, most effective way to do this, have 50 to 100 different 84s or maybe the same card on your transfer list, lazy listed between 2.7 and 2.9. And of course, if they sell, take the profit and reinvest your coins on more open bids. And of course, it's a constant cycle of open bids. You can see how many 84s I'm seeing right now on this filter. Very nice, very simple. Again, low budget. This is not an investment. It's a passive way for you boys to be making coins on the side with 84s as they have gone up 
today in price. All right, so boys, I want to talk about informs. If you did watch yesterday's video, I said buy informs between 31 to 32,000 coins. And of course, if we go on the market, you can see they're basically 37 thousand coins yes once again they did go up in price reason being 83 times 10 refreshed and what do you need you need informs you can see they're not selling as well at 37 anymore but a content these were flying at 37 thousand coins once again tomorrow 83 times 10 spc will refresh and what's going to happen people are going to go on the market and buy more informs reason being people love to gamble and that spc is repeatable two times every single day so you basically need two informs a day so again tonight if you see informs drop to around 34 to 35 thousand coins i think once again you can put all your coins into this investment tomorrow 45 minutes before content i'm going to give you uk time i would probably list around 5 10 uk time pm i'd probably list around 37.5 to 39 thousand coins every single inform at a different price if you buy 50 for 35k list one card 37.5 one card 38 another card 36 750 another card 37 250 you get the idea every single inform at a different price and of course have them starting to lazy list around 505 to 510 p.m uk time i genuinely think boys this is literally easy coins every single day you buy these after content after they drop and once again in the hype before content they rise anyway and of course lazy selling into content is basically one of the best ways to make coins with not much risk involved reason being i don't see ea releasing a tradable team of the week player pick reason being we already have one in um the SPC section, I'm pretty sure. So in general, if you see informs tonight drop to 33, 34, even 35K, I don't think is a bad idea. And of course, as soon as you buy, have them lazy listed, one card 37, another one 38. If they sell, take the profit and of course, buy more cards, very nice. And consistent way for you boys to be making coins every single day A content. You buy informs, you lazy sell, they drop after content maybe one to two hours after and you rebuy and they rise in the hype. And of course, once again, they sell lazy selling into content. Let's have a look at a last mass bidding filter. All right, so boys, a final method I do want to show you guys. Have a look in the background. We do have the special 10 2030. I'm going to try again give you a live example how this method works. Again, you're going to click search and you will see so many open bids. Look for cards that you think in general are worth more than 10, 20,000 coins. First example, you can see, you can see Di Maria open bid 20,000 coins. I'm quickly going to load up for bin and for bin says Di Maria is 26,000 coins so clearly a very good deal on open bid you want to throw a bid and of course if you win the card you win the card now Kessie I know this is a great deal if we're going for bin I'm going to go on my phone quickly Kessie and this card is worth 28,000 coins again even 25k is a good open bid basically boys with this filter you want to have for bin on your phone next to you and as soon as you see open bids you want to spam bids on as many cards as you can of course you're, bit, you're not going to win every card let's be honest out of 10 cards you might win one or two but in general there's so many cheap open bids going on open bid you can see kessie for example 25 750 this card is actually 29,000 coins so again if i win this card that would be a very good deal unfortunately i did get outbidded for 28k again like i said you're not going to win every card there's so many open bids do not get stuck on one card you can see nani dempsey informs especially basically guys go for each individual bid type the person on fubin and if fubin says let's take for example an inform that is 40,000 coins on fubin and the open bid on the inform is 32,000 coins of course 8,000 coin difference the profit will be very very nicely don't sit there and bid for 150 coins profit 500 coins profit aim between one to four thousand coins profit per card that way again you only win good deals try to avoid the 500 coins to 700 coins profit per card reason being again they barely sell and if they sell that is just not worth your time you can see informs open bids so so many special cards quality special min price 10 max price 20 minimum buy now 30 and of course have footbin on your phone or maybe on your computer 
next to you, search the card, and of course, if the price on footbid is much different to the price on open bid, throw a bid, and of course, if you win the card, sell the card straight away for profit. Premium Discord, down in the comments, click the link, join up, check the investments, low budget, and sniping filters, and of course, boys, drop a like and do subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video.